LXL A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, October 2021, Question 6. The shape shown in Figure 1 is a design for a logo. In the design, OAB is a sector of a circle with centre O and radius R. Sector OFE is congruent to sector OAB. ODC is a sector of a circle centre O and radius 2R. And AOF is a straight line. Given that the size of angle COD is theta radians, we need to write down, in terms of theta, the size of angle AOB. Well, looking at the diagram, we can see that AOB and FOE must be the same size because those two sectors are congruent, we're told that earlier. And we know that the straight line AOF in radians is pi. So to work out one side, one sector angle, we're going to take our theta of COD away from pi and divide by 2. So the angle AOB is pi minus theta over 2. For part B, we need to show that the area of the logo is a half r squared times 3 theta plus pi. So we know the formula for the area of a sector is a half r squared theta. So the area of our whole shape is going to be the larger sector. So the larger sector's got a radius of 2r and an angle of theta. So a half times 2r all squared times theta. Our smaller sectors, they've got a radius of r and have got an angle of pi minus theta over 2, which we discovered earlier. And we've got two of them, so we've got to remember to do two lots of a half r squared times pi minus theta over 2. Well, simplifying this, the first term, the 2 from the 2r gets squared to make 4, but then times that by the half, so we end up with 2r squared theta. On the second term, the 2 and the half cancel out, so we've got r squared pi minus theta over 2. Taking out the r squared, we've got r squared times 2 theta plus pi over 2 minus theta over 2. So I've just separated that fraction there. Simplifying inside the brackets, the 2 theta minus the theta over 2 gives us 3 theta over 2. And then we can bring the half out to get a half r squared times 3 theta plus pi as required. For part C, we need to find the perimeter of the logo, giving our answer in simplest form in terms of r, theta and pi. So we're dealing with some arc lengths here. So our formula for arc length is theta r, where theta is the angle of the sector and r is the radius. So for the arc CD, we've got a sector of angle theta and radius 2r. So its arc length is 2 theta r. We've also got the two small arcs AB and EF. Well, they're radius r and angle pi minus theta over 2. So timesing them together gives us pi minus theta over 2 times by r. We've also got our straight edges. So a to o is r, o to f is also r. Cb, we can see that that's the 2r of c to o minus r from b to o. So that must be r as well, as is ed. So to get the total perimeter, we're going to add together one large arc length, the two small arc lengths, and those four r's that are coloured in on the diagram. So we get a perimeter of 2 theta r plus 2 lots of pi minus theta over 2 times r plus 4r. That middle term, the 2, multiplying it and the 2 on the bottom will cancel out. And then if we multiply both the pi and the theta by r, that's going to become pi r minus theta r. We can now bring some terms together because we've got 2 theta r minus theta r. So that just leaves us with theta r. And we've still got the pi r and the 4r there. So let's factorise out the r, so we get theta plus pi plus 4, all times by r, and that's our perimeter. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.